by what I've learned during this period of time. I've learned who my friends are during my time of need. When you're suffering with poor mental health, you're in a hole. You can't just keep lugging around the weight of the world on your shoulders through darkness. You can't do it. You have to be helped through with someone, preferably, who's been there before. I like to spend a lot of time in North Wales. Its vastness just kind of, it, it, it's like the void of space. It, it'll suck all that negativity and, and those problems away. Because look how vast it is, look how big it is. And what am I compared to all of that? I'm minuscule, I'm insignificant. Which makes my problems insignificant. When you live in the urban jungle, it's like you're drowning in noise constantly. The noise in your own head of your own day-to-day -day routine. You know, they say if you're anxious, you're worrying about events that haven't even happened yet. If you're depressed, you're thinking about things that have happened in the past. But you need quiet. You need a quiet place to be able to meditate and on the here and now. Got your name right, didn't I? In Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, everyone who comes to train is focused on what they're doing. They're not letting themselves be distracted by the day's events. If you come in here, your mind's not on your game. You're going to get murdered. <laughs> and that's a fact. You're going to get hurt. I think it's important that you, are, you don't dwell on things on the past. Try not to dwell too much on things that haven't even occurred yet. I think due to the nature of, of the martial arts aspect, you know, it can't not be a, a close thing because we're in such close proximity with each other. We are literally putting each other's safety in each other's hands. You know, it's, you're, you are trusting that person not to hurt you. You are trusting that person to let go. If you tap, if I tap, it means I've, sub, I've admitted defeat, you've submitted me, let's go again. Shake hands, let's go again. And it's friendly, and we're there to help each other. Jesus, you got a sweat on, don't you? <laughs> sweat on. <laughs> These bonds are formed across the board with so many different people. I mean, when I left the military, I, f I really struggled with having a purpose. Here, I've got a purpose. You have to prove yourself, show respect, you know, build trust. What I miss about being in the military, I, I have found them here, definitely, 100%. I joined the army. I fell in love with that, that career. It was, it was a good lifestyle. When guys live together, train together, sleep together, you know, you are going to form bonds of trust. And you're hearing the rounds going off and you're hearing rounds zipping over your head, then <laughs> your life is literally in their hands and, and, and vice versa. You know, you could have a disagreement or a long going feud with one of your colleagues, but you know, you know 100% if the shit hits the fan, he's gonna have you back. I, I left the army in 2013 and became a civilian. First thing I noticed, you're less inclined to open up to people because you don't know if he's going to have you back, you know. Shit, it's the fun. Is he going to be stood next to me? Probably not. In most cases, what I've found, that is the case, and it's a sad thing. The gym is a great outlet for me, and the guys there are like family. We knock seven bells out of each other sometimes. Been in hospital a few times with cracked ribs. 
a few of the bits and pieces, I lost my tooth. But we're still a family, you know, we're all good. We're all good. But this thing here, like I said, this is a big one. To make your problems seem small, and they just disappear. Once you've been here, it's, you take that back with you. You take a little part of it back with you. And yeah, over time it'll disappear, but that's why you come back. Get some dinner cooking. Everything tastes better outside. Even if it's just making a coffee, um, the smell carries for, for miles and miles and miles. There we go. Whenever I go anywhere, this is the end goal. This is like, I look forward to this moment, like being by myself, having a little scram. Just totally alone. People don't really take time out these days. Even when you've got your own little quiet moments, not really at peace because they're too busy and the mind's working looking at social media on the phones. The messages, the emails, you know, it's like, oh, I've got to get back to this guy about this appointment. I've got to get back to this guy about that appointment. I need to do this, I need to do that. Stop. Breathe. Look around you. Let it go. There used to be so much stigma attached to mental health. And even, I can't say the phrase mental health myself now because it's become overused. That's why I like to use the term mental fitness instead, because it shows that you're on a, a pathway to recovery. One thing missing. <laughs> Last 18 months has been horrendous. I'm sure it has for a lot of people. I found myself unemployed and then eventually onto a minimum wage job. I was unable to train at the gym. I was unable to travel to these locations, things like this. So I'd have my entire support system removed. And it got bad. It got to the point where my friends were worried. Currently, I've been diagnosed with moderate to severe anxiety, and I've also been diagnosed with having severe depression as well. The love and support of the friends and family that I've got around me, who've really, really shown the, the true colours during this difficult time, this last 18 months. Without them, probably won't be here talking to you now, you know. I used to be under the illusion that if I suffered with my poor mental health, I could just take a couple of tablets and that'd be fine. Obviously, medication is essential. I think I've learned that more and more than anyone these days. I thought that I would be fine if, as long as I could get back to the gym and carry on doing this. But I, I've come to accept now that I, I do need to have those, those antidepressants. It's okay not to be okay. But I'm not going to sit on my laurels and I will continue to, to do things like this. I will continue to, to get out there. I've made a conscious effort to make more little mini adventures. Take them as soon as I can, whenever I can. As many as, as, many as possible. You're recharged, ready to go. You've emptied the cup as it was, ready to go again. Single file, leave a gap between you and the person in front. I'm also more heavily involved in the gym now. I'm uh, teaching classes. So two hands, 
on one. I'm putting them right down here. So they press down, roll over onto the mat. Being on the same mat as the kids gives you a platform to communicate with them. So it gives me the ability to help keep them on the good path. Things that I needed when I was a kid that I didn't help. <laughs> OK, next exercise, bed rolls, off you go. It's very rare you see a child that's miserable all the time. They're always laughing and joking, giggling, because they're happy, generally. You know, growing up sucks, being an adult sucks. So let's get out there and keep that child like mentality sometimes, you know. It's, it's good for the soul. People need to bring and create their own happiness. Don't, don't try and find it in other people, find it in yourself. It comes with satisfaction and gratification. From being in a dark place to being like a duck where I was calm and serene on the outside but paddling frantically underneath the water, now it's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of comfortably just floating there now. Yeah, I'm in a good place. Thank you.